Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. What are you doing on Schmeekly Reserve? You're looking for birds? Well, this is a good spot to look, but I'm looking for something even cooler. Would you like to help me look for it? Well, you don't know my name. Oh, well, I'm Izzy, and I'm a student here at UWSP, and I'm studying environmental education, and I'm on the hunt for something called the ermine. It also goes by um, the name of Stoat. I've also got here as Short-Tailed Weasel. Would you like to help me look? Yeah? Okay. Then we gotta get a few things in, in line here first, okay? So I guess you wanna know what you're looking for before we go searching, right? That might help a little bit. <laughs> I've got one here for you that I can show you. So I've got here with me an ermine. And ermine are gonna be very small creatures. And even though they're very small, they're very tenacious. And they hunt quite a few other creatures that are much larger than themselves. Even though they're tenacious, they're also very uncommon to see here in Chemical Reserve, but we can find them if we look hard enough. And if we can't, I've got one here that you can see just in case. When we think about looking for ermines, we've got to think about what habitat they like. And this is the perfect place to start because you've got space where the wood line meets the tall grasses. And these little ermines love to weave in and out of the tall grasses because they're able to find mice and shrews. They also will hunt chipmunks, squirrels, snakes, and insects. And as you can see here, some of those creatures are much bigger than the ermine. Let's go check out another place that they like to be at. So right here is gonna be another great place to find ermine, or at least find signs of ermine. These little creatures like running along water sources because they'll go in and out of the water to catch fish and snakes as well. And now you might think when you're looking that these little creatures don't look like they're someone that can swim, or that they've got such large home ranges, but they really do. An ermine can have such a large piece of property that to us, it would be the equivalent of living on like a 40 acre piece of land. For these little creatures and how uncommon they are, this huge plot of land that they run and they maintain in solitude is probably why we never really see them in Schmeekly. But if you look along the streams or along the lake line in Schmeekly, you might be able to find some signs of them. Let's go talk about how tenacious they are. Come on. Whew. I don't think we're gonna find an ermine today in Schmeekly, but that's okay because they're pretty hard to find and I've never seen one personally. I know there's been photographs of ermine in Schmeekly, so they're here, they're just tough to find. I do have some things to tell you about the characteristics of ermine though. This one here is probably a male and they're larger than the females are. They'll live about two to five years in the wild and will often live in solitude their whole lives unless they're in the mating season. Females will have about two to three offspring each year and they can reproduce within the first year of their life. This little black tip at the end of their tail, does anybody know why they might have this characteristic through all seasons? If you said something about being able to deter predators, you're absolutely right. This little black tip can often be confusing for a predator because they'll think it's the front end of a creature. And when they dive after the ermine's black tip of the tail, the ermine is much more likely to get away. Now, because they're so small, they might seem like they have a lot of predators, but because they're so ferocious and tenacious, they really don't. Much of the predators around Schmeekly will often just forget about it because they put up such a fight. Now this white winter phase that we see in this ermine is going to last from about the end of fall to the beginning of spring. And they'll shed out this white coat in exchange for a golden brown and white underneath. But this black tip will stay throughout the year. This golden coat that they create in the middle of the springtime when they're molting is going to be helpful for them to blend into the tall grasses that they like so much to be in when they're hunting for prey. When we think about the ermine, we think about how mysterious they might be and just what creatures they really are. 
we have to think that they're here and they're preying on things that we actually know and see a lot of in Schmeekly, even though we don't see a lot of ermines. If you're on the hunt, make sure that you're looking for the right color coat of the time of year. Right now, in this spring to summer shift, it's going to be looking more of this white splotchy into the brown. Have fun searching!